Hello, everybody. My name is Prentice Boxdale, and I hope that you have you enjoying this YouTube channel. Will you please hit the subscribe and like button? And y'all are going to have a hallelujah good time, but we got many more to come. And let's have a good time together. Um, yeah, yeah. I want to thank you, my friends and neighbors. I, I just want to thank you. Come on and say this with me. I need to study, yeah, yeah. I need to study, Lord. I am the one who needs to study, study. Study to show thyself approval unto God. A workman that need and not to be ashamed. Gradually dividing the word of truth. Come on, come on, and sit there with me. Oh I need to study, yeah. I need to study, Lord. Go ahead and uh, live in the word of prayer.
why we call him Lord. And why we said he's my Lord, he's my king, he's my all in all, and we're better to do what he asked us to do. And uh, I'm going to put somebody on, on a journey this week. I want someone to get pick up some, uh, if you can, pick up uh, some of these driving markers. Okay? I'm going to get somebody on a, 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 a little test this week. So I'm going to pick up some markers. Uh, that that be dry mark. Okay? Dry erase. Yeah, dry erase your high we call them. Okay. <laughs> but then when someone pick up some of them, get as many you want, I don't care. I'll just give them some, okay? Um, let me uh, tell me, what does this mean to you when you call him? Explain this question to me. What do you think about this? Why, why do we call him Lord, Lord, and do not accept? Come on, y'all talk to him. What do you think about that? You call him Lord, Lord, you mean, you know, you call him, compete, uh, uh, keep repeating his name, so he can get really to you when he calls you. Mm -hmm. But the question is, why you call him Lord, Lord, okay. when you ain't doing what he said? Think about that. Why we say he's my Lord, he's my king? And we fail to do what he tells us to do, Brother Stanley. Well, for one reason, we know that he's a merciful God. Mm -hmm. And the reason we don't do what he says is because we're, we, we're really not, uh, uh, we really haven't came to the obedience that he would have us to be. Okay, so since we hadn't came to the obedience that we should be, so how we get there? Brother Mahaney. Come on, speak up. Don't study the word of God. By studying the word of God. So Mahaney, why is studying so important? Because that's the only way you're going to be able to taste the milk. Be able to taste milk. Well, why you want to taste milk, uh, Stanley? Because you know it. How come it is? Because I know it, it would nourish me and, and make my body complete as far as uh, my studying habits. Make heaven our home. So, if we know what we're saying to be true, what we're saying, if it to be true, then I mean, me and everybody in this room today, we should work extra hard in trying to do what God should do. And like I said, I've been thinking about you all and trying to come up with things to get you to study, even myself. I find myself lacking study. So I'm not, I'm just in the same thing that you are in, okay? So I want you all to understand that I'm no better than you, and you're no better than I am. We are brothers and sisters in the faith. So we are trying to get you all to become to be strong in the faith. And if you fail to study the word of God, you're not going to stay in the faith. Uh, if you do, you're going to be half-stepping, you're going to be doing a little bit here, you're going to run a while, you're going to give up. You're going to run a while, you're going to give up. You did this pattern, you're going to build up. And then when someone says something to you, you're going to find yourself getting angry, getting mad, I'm grown, you, don't, you can't tell me what to do. You see, you're going to find yourself being rebellious against the Word of God. So the new convert class is just simply designed to help try to reconfirm to you all that what you have obeyed, that it is right. This all this class is a system to help you to get this foundation, start building underneath your feet, giving you something that you can start to building up on and become and be strong in the faith. This is what this class is all about, okay? Because when you leave here, you have to go into the adult class, then your study habit is going to so if you don't want to form a study habit here, you sure ain't going to have them when you get upstairs. You're going to find yourself lost all the time. You're going to understand some things. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But by you not studying, you ain't going to understand a lot. So reconstructing this new cover class with you all, this is what I'm trying to do now, is to reconstruct this class. 
trying to find out what do we need, what do you need, what do you need to study. So we're going to try this out. Why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? What are the some of the things that Christ told us to told us? We find in Hebrew, somebody turn to Hebrew. Now that's not on the sheet here. We'll get to that get the sheet in a minute. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 25. Hebrew chapter 10. Y'all put that on your paper. Y'all keep the paper there because uh, uh, you need to take this paper and you need to continue to look at this paper. Uh, Hebrew 10, 25. We're going to talk about this over and over and over. And, mm. and, and then by so when you see it, you're going to understand. You're going to realize this some of the things that we that we have been talking about. Hebrew 10, 25. Okay, yeah. New Testament. New Testament is something like this. All right. Uh, Brother Hayne, read that for us. Not forsaking the assembly of, of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Now, know what the Bible said that we ought to exhort one another. That tell us not to forsake the assembly. So, one way that we can be able to prove to the Lord that we won't call him Lord, Lord, and mean what we say, we're going to come to the assembly. In other words, we're going to come to the Lord's house. On the time of the wizard service, time of Bible class, we're going to be here. Okay? Unfortunately, that on Wednesday night, I won't be here because of my work schedule. But I'm hoping that the Lord will, maybe later on, God, God will change that. But I don't know. But I'm hoping that it, that, that it will happen. So you all pray that it will happen. But anyway, but right now, see, it's so important that on Sunday, that you want to get here on Sunday. Because this is the only time you're going to have this one-on-one -on -one, uh, in the new comfort class teaching is on Sundays now, okay, until we get another teaching for Wednesday night, okay? So that's why I'm begging you all to take what you got and continue to study over, go over it. You're going to have to really put up a good fight now. Uh, remember the child that refused to take the milk. Uh, did y'all review your tape? Did you review the tape? Okay. We started start looking at some of it um, that Sunday night. Okay. Tell me what you, what you, tell me what you, tell me something about it. Well, the, I, I, the first one I, that I started looking at was the introduction. Uh-huh. Okay, and it talked about taking up the milk. Uh, now, now, I'm going to speak up a little louder. I'm trying to get you in the car. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I can get you, okay? okay. I, I'm not trying to say, right. go ahead. Talk, it was talking about, uh, you know, taking up the milk. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the introduction to the new convert class and mm -hmm. the things that the new convert class is trying to do. Mm -hmm. What what were we trying to do? And the, and the, what were we trying to do? Like everybody come into the assembly and taste the milk. Taste the milk. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, and it becomes strong in faith. It becomes strong in faith. What else? Get good study habits. Get good study habits. What else? Uh, There's a whole lot was in there. Yeah. Now what about that sister? Mr. Hillborn sister or something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, why you say something else? Why? Well, the sister is um, it's, it's the devil voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get caught up in the sister, uh, you forget the things that you've learned. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, it'll keep you from it'll keep you doing the things that the Lord don't want you to do. Uh, keep on talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I said when when you when you you caught up in the sifter, it, it keeps you from uh, coming to the assembly. Uh -huh. Come, come, come to study the Lord's word. Okay. Let me ask what what are some of the things that since you've been in the, in the body of Christ that have caused you to hinder you from coming to maybe we need to deal with it this way. See, we had to deal with it in this instance. What are some of the hinders that have caused to hinder you? Stop you. You remember you got the, you had the good studying habit. You were studying, you were studying God's word. Well, what happened? I, for, for me, at the time, uh, I felt like the, the faith was a stumbling block in front of me. Mm -hmm. And it took a while for me to realize that faith did put a stumbling block for me, and I had to step on mm -hmm. and come back to the house of the Lord. And that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the devil want to eat me up or devour me. Which one you want to put, it doesn't matter. The devil want, or you can even put the devil want me. It's what, however you want to put it. There's nothing up to you. However you want to put it. The devil want me, he want to devour me, or he want to eat me up. So, but the Bible says here to be sober, be virgin, because your adversary, the devil, as a royal lion, walking about, seeking at whom that he may devour. Y'all look at me. He can walk in my life, Brother Stanley. He can devour me. He can cause me to turn my back on the Lord. Well, that if I let him. Only you would let him. You have the control of your life. He can't do nothing unless you let him do it. Let me say it again. The devil can't do nothing unless you let him do it. Well, God, how good he put things up to us, Brother Stanley. Mm -hmm. It's going to be determined whether you're going to step in it or not. See what I'm saying? He calls you, look at a pretty rose floor. But things shining down to the mat. You know you don't need it. But he would call it look so good to you. But you the one who had that last say. So whether you want it, you're going to go after it, or you're going to leave it alone. You have that. That's why the Bible says, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So what we got to do is learn how to resist him. And the only way we'll learn how to resist him and win is we got to have Christ and the Holy Spirit on our side. That's why our study is so important. If we don't get to continue to grow in the Holy Spirit, and that Spirit dwell in us and help build us up, then... We're gonna lose the battle. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lose the battle. Uh, now I think I uh, I did this one. Uh, so this, okay. Now remember, I told you this. I'm gonna read a little bit of this, and then we're gonna get back into where we at. I found in my body there's a war going on. We got to set ourselves within me. I got to get the milk. I got to taste the milk. I got to desire the word of God. I got to find out what God wants me to do because there is a war going on. Y'all write on your paper, there's a war going on in me. There's a war going on in me. And then when you get that down, you need to say, that's why I need the milk. There's a war going on in me. There is a war going on me. That's why I need the milk. That's why I need the milk. Then you put Psalms uh, 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 119, verse 103 down there. That give you out why you need why 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 you should have the milk. And why what did that tell us? Who can remember what that tell us? So it's going to be, 
that soul is what controls the whole body. The soul must listen to the spirit. If the soul fails to listen to the spirit and feed the body more than the spirit, then the body's going to have the tendency to turn to the world because the body is consists of got to have fleshly things to live, water, clothes, even sexual desire, all this pertaining to the body. See what I'm saying? So if we fail to feed the spirit, the body is going to have more control in us than the spirit because this is what the soul is feeding. The body is saying, I need some food. I'm hungry. Feed me so. Feed me so. So you got to go to work so, so we can eat so. So you got to take the children to the baseball, baseball game. So come on. Let, let's go. So whatever make that your body. So when you in a game and you, you get all emotion, get happy, Yes, your body is ex excited about everything. Oh, you about to fall over looking at a football game because your body is so excited. But the spirit is crying out saying, feed me, feed me, feed me. Then we go out and make a mistake. You say, God, I'm so down in the mud. I just can't make it. You're crying because that spirit is saying, feed me, feed me, feed me so I can help you so feed me. So I can help you to become to be strong. But if we don't feed it, then it's going to be off balance. We're going to turn to the world, follow that body. We're going to turn to the world and try to tell us how to live this Christian life. And when we have what we need right here before, we, we can't see. Our eyes have become closed. Now look down here on your page now. Let's look at this in the Bible. Uh, go ahead. What do you do that verse one uh, Psalm 119, verse number 103. Okay. Psalm 119, 103. They go up on your board right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Psalm 119, 103. Okay, let's let's open the Bible up. Okay. Uh, Brother Stan, I want you to go to Matthew uh, chapter 7, verse 21. Sister Mahane, I want you to go to Luke chapter 6 and verse 46. And Brother Mahane. I want you to go to Matthew chapter 25, verse 10. Okay? And so my hand is going to read first, then we're going to get with Brother Sam. Okay? Let's look at this. So we're talking about, why are you calling him Lord, Lord, and do not the things that he says? Why are we calling him Lord, Lord, and do not the things that he says? That's a very good question. Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Okay? So we don't want to fool ourselves. He's my Lord. He's my King. And we got him doing everything on this son. You are fooling. Or you are fooling yourself. We are fooling ourselves. God is not a play toy. Either we're going to do what he tells us to do, or else we're going to have to pay the consequences in the end. Okay? Now, uh, Sister Mahaney, go ahead and read that for me. But who heard the who uh -huh. heard? Uh, uh, Luke 6, 4, 6. Uh -huh. Luke 6, 4, 6. For why do you call me, uh -huh. Lord, Lord, and do, and do not do the things which I say? Now, see, Christ asked the question. See, why are you calling me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Read that next part of the next verse here. So, man. Whoever comes to me and hear my saying, now notice what it says now. Whosoever come to me and do it or does my saying. So we got to come to him and we got to do what he wants us to do. It ain't about Brother Box, it ain't about Brother Mahaney, Sister Mahaney, Brother Stanley. It's about doing what Christ said do. It's about doing what Christ said do. We got to do what he tells us to do. Read, read the rest of that then, and then we got to move on. And said, and by saying it does them, I will show you whom he is like. Okay, now, if we do what he tells us to do, he's going to show us what we are like. We can walk in the light. We can be in the light. Our light can shine. When we go through our trial and tribulation, he'll be there to help us. Mm -hmm. And we can make it through. He, he never promised that we're gonna, the road was going to be easy. He never did tell us that now. He said, we walk in the light, and we stay in the light, 
as he is in life, he's going to show us who we like him, that we can go through our trials, we can go through our tribulations. We've got to have bad to get. Sometimes we have to fall down. Well, we need to be merciful. That's why God wants us to keep in our merciful state. So we're going to have trials, tribulations. We're going to have to fall down on our knees and cause us to cry because we need to be, keep ourselves humble, humble before God. Okay? we got to stay humble before him. We got to stay merciful and, and knowing that God is the one that we need to depend upon. Just think, get everything you need. You say, oh, well, man, I don't need God now. I got everything like. See, you go aside track now. See what I'm saying? So uh, now, go to Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-one. Read, brother, on my hand. Okay, brother, that was verse ten. Okay. Go ahead. Now, everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord. Now, 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 now look what's in here. See, you can call him Lord all day long. Look at me, class. We call the Lord all day long. But Jesus telling us that everyone that says something to me, no matter in the church or out of the church, if we're not doing what he tells us to do, why are you calling me Lord? Oh, okay, why are you calling me Lord? Read, Stan. Uh, Lord, Lord. Should enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, read that again. Not everyone that said. Not no, no, he said not everyone. Don't not the one that not doing. It. Read. Not everyone that said um, said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter un, into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay, now he said you got to be doing. The will of the Father. So if you ain't doing it, you ain't going to heaven. Come on, let's get real. So that's why we got, come on, y'all say, I need what? Yep. Come on, talk to me. I need, I need, come on, let me hear this. Come, come on, come on. I what? I need come milk. Come on, read. Come on, come on, come on, say it. Okay, let's do the milk first, then we'll get you there. Okay, so that way we won't give it. Come on, I want to hear y'all say that three times. Come on, I need the milk. Come on. I need the milk. Come on. I need the milk. Let me hear you. I need the milk. Now let me hear you on the study part. I need to study. I need to study. I need to study. Okay. So if we know the importance of I need the milk and I need to study, and then if we want to call him Lord Lord, then we got to get busy in our study. Me, you, all of us. Ain't nobody in the Lord Church, Church of Christ, is obsolete. We all got to study God's word. Every one of us. Now the soul here can't study and make heaven at home. You got to study. And not only study, you got to do what else? You got to do what in your study? Uh, believe. Okay, believe. But desire. Uh, desire. But then you, once you get to believe and desire, then you got to start doing. That's it. You got to start doing it. You believe. You can have a desire all you want. But if you don't put that work behind them, what you're doing, it don't mean nothing. But we got a lot of folks that say, I believe, boy, I thank God, and boy, they speak a good talk. But when it comes down to doing, it ain't there. See what I'm saying? So it's just not only I believe, and I'm going to study, I'm going to that. But when you study, the Bible says, forsake not the assembly, we put an action. We know we got to be here. We start doing what we read. We put in practice what we read. I mean, all this did, did, did it with me too. See what I'm saying? God word not optimally for every member in the church. We got to start doing. Okay, uh, brother Mahaney, you got uh, go ahead and read, read that. Uh, you were next one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. While they went to buy the the bride's oh, room. Okay. Now hold it. Now now what this talking about here? Now, uh, I need just give you some eyes, some things. You need to go back and read these scriptures for yourself so you can get the suggestion of what we're doing. I just pull some things out, try to give, a, give you a little hunger desire to go back and see what was going on here. Well, what was going on here, there were five, there were ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. Five had got themselves together, got themselves ready to meet the bridegroom. And five was foolish. So what you're reading about now is the foolish one. Okay, that's what you're reading about, the foolish one. Now go ahead and read now. And while they came, 
and while they went to buy, the brass rooms came. Now see, they had to go back because see, they wanted some oil for their land. But by them not being ready, so what I'm telling you right now, if you fail to get ready, to go home with Christ. Remember Jesus said, ain't nobody going to kingdom heaven mm -hmm. unless they do what I said. So you call me Lord, Lord all you want to, you ain't going to heaven. So we ain't going to fool ourselves. You ain't going to heaven, newborn babe. I don't care if you just, just been baptized in the church or not, but if you fail to study and get what you need to, so I can help you to make heaven your home, if you fail to do what I tell you, you ain't going. You ain't going. You ain't going. You're going to be like these five food of virgin. Christ gave us an example. This is what he telling us right now. So, now he said, they, okay, they went back to get, the, get some more. Read. Go on. And they, and they that were ready went in with him and, to, and, and the marriage. Okay, now those that were ready, they went in. In other words, Christ came and got them and took them in into the marriage. And he shut the door. The door was closed. But then they go on and tell you about that when these five of them came back, they were, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. You can knock all you want to. Let me in. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go right there. So, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to instruct this new convert class to let you know the importance of you coming to the assembly. If you fail to come to the assembly, why are you calling him Lord, Lord, and you're not doing what he tells you to do? Why do we call him Lord? Same thing with me. Why do we call him Lord? We know we need to study. We find ourselves down in the mud, rolling around in the mud, but we ain't down by the mud. Why? Because we fail to study God's word and put into practice what God wants us to do. We find ourselves in the home. Wife fighting against the husband, husband fighting against the wife. Ain't everybody right standing? Mm -hmm. We against one another, we just tearing them down. Wife walk around with a lip poked out, mad at the husband. Husband mm -hmm. walk around and wants to send them to the wife. Close to communication line and talking. I don't care how bad the home life gets. We need to keep that communication of line of talking open. Don't close that line. Because when you close that line, you open a big avenue for the devil to come in. I'm sure how that doesn't work. I I I I can't see. We don't think about this. Oh, I know my whole thing is what I do nothing wrong. I I shut the door all I want to. He ain't supposed to do nothing wrong, you know. You shut that door and he go out there and depress and 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 then some old devil put some old young little woman in the way. He said, Oh, what's the matter? And he said, Well, I ain't gonna. Come on, you can tell me. Get start telling her about the problem. She. Hug them and all, and then things start happening. So don't think we're above that. Do not close that communication line with your husband and wife. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. I beg you, don't do it. Because you're leaving a big open door to the devil. And he knows once he tears a home life for him, he going to Come on to the Lord's church because we are the foundation of the church of family. Now, I know that before you came to the body of Christ, you ain't had this kind of talking before. See, but now you begin to understand the importance of staying together and the importance of studying God's word and the importance of doing what the Lord wants to do. Now, remember, Christ said, why? Why are you calling me Lord, Lord, and do not the thing that I say? So, put my hand and ask you a question. So, why, why are you calling him Lord, Lord, and not doing what he say? Tell me that. Why are you calling him Lord and not doing what he say? I guess I would be looking for an answer. Yes, sir. I don't know. Okay, that's good. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, why? But I'm just asking you, what do you think the answer would be? If, if, if you had to answer, you, now remember, you asked yourself the question, well, why am I calling the Lord, Lord? You asked yourself the question. Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess I would be want, want something for nothing. Well, that's, that's right. Because you want to call the Lord, more all the glory that he want to give you, 
But don't want to do it. Don't want to do what he said. First down. Why are you going to call the Lord? And do not hear, do, do not what he said. I, you know, I, I, I like what my brother said. I mean, a long time from now. <clears throat> but knowing that I'm weak, it's the reason I was called for him, hoping and trusting that he would give me strength to do for you. Okay, but now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting you that, let me put it this way. Now, we know, I'm not going to say you, I'm, we. Uh, all of us is in the box. So when I say you, I'm singing you out as an individual. I don't want to do it. We, we are in this together, okay? But when we, okay, we know what we need to do, okay? But when we fail to do what God tells, tells us to do, so some my hand, so why do you want to follow the Lord? Look at that. 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 Look at I wasn't giving God the time. I was supposed to give him. So why should he help me when I'm calling him? This ain't going on. Okay, that's exactly right. So we've got to look at self. Yep. Because remember, we are the one brought back the only key to his soul and salvation. You don't. You can't get, you make, you can try to help me to get there, but you can't make me go to help. See what I'm saying? You remember I told you earlier, I can't make none of you all study. You remember? Remember when you first came in the life? I said, I can't make you study. I can beg, I can plead, I can cry, I can turn to flip, and we can do everything we can to try to help you become and be strong in the faith. But if the last say so is who? No. Yours, that's right, not the Lord. You the one that have last say so, whether you're going to make heaven your home. Christ going to help you to get there. But in reality, yeah, he's the last one who had a last section of where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. That's right. That right. <laughs> now, you got that right. That's why he just told you. See, that's why he just told you right here that everyone that said, Lord, Lord, will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Christ has told us that. So, Brother Bosco, still can go to hell. I'm going to put it that way. Now, we get down to some nitty gritty here. Okay, we're a little bit off the milk just for a little bit. And you're a little bit on the little apple saw, a little bit of ton of green. Okay? Now, if you don't get that milk and let that milk digest so you can get on the apple saw, when you get to the apple saw and the meat, you ain't gonna stand. It's that simple. You ain't gonna go to hell. But box that ain't gonna help. Don't think call even the brother Wooten. If he turn his back on God today, he's not going to help him. But it ain't because you said, oh, it just said, why call me Lord, Lord? Mm -hmm. well, it's hard to call him Lord, Lord, and that's in vain. Oh, no, no, you, if you're doing what he said, you can call him all day long. If you're doing what God said, you no, that's not in vain. Lord, help me, Jesus. Lord, be with me. But now it will be in vain if you holler, Lord, Lord, and you ain't doing what he tell you to do, or you going to hell. Or you, you die, and you die in sin, you ain't going to make it. Now that's it, how serious it is. Now let's get real. You stay in your kernel mind all day long if you want to. But if you don't study and get out of that kernel mind state, and learn to become to be spiritual mind. You remember, we talked about that Paul said, I can't speak to you in a spiritual mind yet. You remember we talked about that? Because you don't understand this, these things. But since you've been here for a while, you begin to sort of understand a little bit better. Now, I can tell you this, but I'm telling you now. I couldn't tell you this at first, but I can tell you this now. You remember I told you when you first came to class, I can't tell you if you don't study you going to hell, you, you won't take that too good. But now you can take it. You can not just a little bit now. I can tell you, if you fail to study, you ain't going to make help in your home. If you don't fail to come to the seminar, you ain't going to make help. Not only that, if you don't fail to come to the work of the Lord, we ain't going to make Christ. That's why we're here. 
We live to do God's business. Not your business, not my business, but God's business. We here to please God. And if we do, as he tell us walk with him, he's going to help us through a world which is a world of trouble. He never promised us that we weren't going to handle the trials and tribulations. But he said, blessed is the man that endure temptation. So if you endure it, when you go through it, and you stand with Christ, and when you come through it, you can be able to say, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I made it through this one. Thank God. It was wrong, but I stayed with the Lord. Yes, I could fall down on my knees, and I could cry to the Lord, but he saw me through. So I can be able to call him, Lord, Lord, why? Because I stayed with him. I stayed and study. When it got rough, I still came to church. Yes. It looked like I was talked about even in the church, but I still came. I didn't give up. I feel like I was ready to give up, but I stayed with Christ. I realized I wasn't there to please the members. I was there to please Christ. I stayed with Christ. See what I'm saying? No. Well, let's go down. Drop that hand in the book of uh, uh, Luke. Go to Luke 13, verse 7. Luke 13 and verse 25. Luke 13 and 25. And brother, my hand is white going there. Uh, uh, go to uh, Matthew, the 11th, 28 and 29, brother, my hand. Okay? Now, uh, Brother Stanley going to Luke 13, 25. Okay? Go ahead and read for us, Brother Stanley. But he wants the master of the house is red, is risen up and has shut and has shut to the door. Uh-huh. And you begin to stand without and to knock at the door mm -hmm. and say, Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. open unto us that he shall answer and say unto you, I know, I know you not when you when you are. See what I'm saying? So you stand there all day long. Knock, bang, shout all over the place. You ain't getting in because we failed to do what God told us to do. So that's why we got to continue to preach ourselves, I need the milk, I need the milk, I need the milk, I need the milk, I need the desire of God's word. I want the honey, I got to have it. Now, Now, here in the book of Matthew, Brother Mahaney. So we're we're going okay, to see here what did Christ tell us to do. This, this is what we're looking at now. What did Christ tell us to do? What did Christ tell us to do? Here in Matthew 11, 28 and 29, read Brother Mahaney. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Now, look what there. Christ said, come unto me, all of you. Then here later. So it ain't no burden that you have on your shoulders. You can't come to the Lord while you're in this Christian race and talk to the Lord about it. He there to help you. He's gonna see you through. See, the victory already been won. So Christ know how to get you to get you there. But you got to come with your confidence and trust in him. He said, Come unto me, all ye that have a labor, and all labor, read. Take my take my yoke and see you. Now, man, then, then he said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Then he said, from what? My yoke is what? It's easy and my burden all life. Go ahead, Brother Stan. I, I, I was just going to go back to, uh, I think he was fine, and I will give you rest. Okay, yes, and I will give you rest. There was rest of that. So he going to give us rest. He's going he gonna to be there with us. Mm -hmm. He's going to help us through our own trials and Triple H. But what we got to do, we got to stay with him. By, and I was studying of God's word by opening our Bible up, looking into the God's word, and finding out what God wants us to do by saying, I need what? Milk. Come on, talk to me. Milk. Come on. I need the milk. Y'all scared of that milk. milk. Okay, okay. now, uh, there was something else that you all had wrote down Wednesday night. What was that? Oh. Oh, <laughs> there, there, there you go. I want to hear a little bit of that. That's something you all wrote down on this night. I remember you uh, wrote it down. I forgot what you wrote, but I know you wrote it down. The most important question in my life. Oh, the most important question in my life. What was it? Do I want to make heaven my home? Do I want to make heaven my home? Now, then now Christ asking you, do you read it? Yes. Yeah. So, if you read it, so then you said, the most important question in my life, I want to make heaven my home. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, how are you going to make it? What's some of the things you wrote down? Did you, did you write some of the things down? Go ahead. I, I just have to write them down. Uh-huh. Because uh, 
Everything I need to make care of my home is right here. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Well, what was it? Just tell me some of them. Oh, believe in Christ. Believe in Christ. Hear the word. Hear the word. Uh, repent of my sins. Mm -hmm. uh, abide in Christ. Okay. Um, be baptized. Be baptized. Okay, now, now hold on just a minute, okay? Uh, Sister so Mahaney, you give me a few of them, then I get Brother Static, but a few of them, then we gotta give it a hand. Well, I, I brought out just all that you have help with my home because that's how that's the best home ever for anybody to ever want. Mm hmm. And you uh, know, you know, you must be get right, you got to get right to go to hell to be with God. And uh, I'm quite sure that heaven will be more sweeter than hell. Well, I know it will. <laughs> okay, Brother Static, come on, give me a little bit. I also, like Brother Mahaney, I, I know it's all right. Now, that was, now, what I'm saying, now, I want you to continue to work with that. And I want you to continue to look at that. And you know, take what you got there. I want you to put within you. Because this is what I'm looking for, what's in you. So you write down what's in you. Then they're going to help me to help you to become, to be strong. And help me, too, to become, to be strong. So take that. And what was that question again? What? 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 No, and what? The most important question was what? Why? 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 Now, then also I want you to work with this hymn. Ask yourself, you ask yourself the question, why do you call the Lord Lord? So when you feel yourself doing what God said do, you write down why you call the Lord Lord. And then write down at that particular moment the way that you feel and what's causing you. See what I'm saying? What hindering you? Write it down. Write it underneath your body. You call it Lord, Lord. And then you write down what what bothers you. Uh, and then we go back and look back into the scripture. Then you're gonna see yourself kind of be more strong. Okay. So y'all, we get it closed out and get on those tabs. Then. All right.
All right. Okay, we'll get ready to get started here. Yeah. All right. Y'all get a chance to look at that. Look at that. All right. We got it. Uh, Brother Mahaney, go ahead and lead us in uh, a word of prayer, please, sir. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing you have bestowed upon us through this week. Heavenly Father, be with us as we learn the word. Uh, 
Mrs. Rachel. Are you look to dance to death? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you think about that. Yeah, and then you tell me a bit, then we look at the other. Okay, um, I think it's going to take, um, the majority of the percentage of us to, um, have the willpower to, and determination to come. Mm -hmm. It's going to take the majority from our part because, um, we got to have our, we got to work out our own salvation. Sure, we got to work out our soul and salvation. But before we work out our soul and salvation for the new convert, we got to get you there so you can learn how, you know what I'm saying, to work out your soul and salvation. So, what we have a problem with right here is trying to get you to come. See what I'm saying? Okay.